Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's Dwayne with Off Grit. And in tonight's video, I'm going to talk about thermal mass. And I've talked about it a couple times, but I want to talk about it and how it pertains to water, storing water, and how we're going to be heating our water for our house. So out here, you can see I have a barrel and I have another barrel that's black. And then I have an IBC tote next to it. I am pouring concrete right now for our house. I'm doing our stem wall. I have a couple videos coming out for that, so uh, I'll be doing that soon. Anyways, um, what I do is I heat the water up and I do it in the morning and I do it at night here too. Now, the reason I do it at night, because um, it gets cold in the morning. The other day it measured 28 degrees outside and it'll get up to like 65 you know, hours later. So we have a lot of temperature swings out here in the desert and thermal mass really comes into play uh, especially when you have temperature swings. So what can happen is, is let's say right now um, you know burning wood right now and this is creating heat that heat is then transferred over to the, these two water storage tanks. And what happens is, is that water, you know, the temperature goes up, obviously. And what it can do, though, is over time, that is going to store more and more and more energy. And it's going to hold it, kind of like a battery does. And if you go out in the morning, and you measure the temperature of the water versus the outside temperature, that's where you're gonna see how thermal mass actually works. So in this example here, you can see, I'm gonna show you what the outdoor temperature was when I started. And you can see that right here. It's pretty cold out, it's 28, 29 degrees. Now you gotta remember, we have big temperature swings here, so it feels really cold to us and we have to dress in layers uh, during the winter time out here. Now, what you'll see next is now I'm going to measure the water temperature in this 55 gallon barrel. Now, when you take a look at that, you see the difference in temperature? That's how thermal mass works. Now, this barrel is actually storing energy from yesterday. So it's storing energy, you know, in the form of heat and that you know concept can apply to when you're building a house for example and I, let me explain that so what we're going to be doing for a, a hot water for our house is we're going to do like a three-step system to heat our water and the way this works is the first step will be a rooftop solar heater you've seen them uh, they have them for pools you can do it for your house water as well they work great. That in itself would probably be enough. If I made one big enough, I wouldn't even have to mess with doing anything else. Now, of course, I like redundancy because you know I always like to have backups and even a backup to my backup. So here's how it'll work. That water will feed from there down into an, a tank. And in that tank, I'm going to have a DC uh, heating element that will be hooked up to solar panels. Now a DC heating element is basically you're using just your panels direct uh, current is, is going to be powering that heating element. So I don't have to like have a controller, I don't have to have like inverters and all that stuff hooked up to it. It's simple. Whatever energy is taken from the sun from these panels will go towards that heating element and then you can hook up a thermostat to it and set the temperature of your water. Now, the combination of taking water from your roof and putting it into that tank, it's already going to be hot. But let's say, you know, for whatever reason, it's the middle of winter and it's not quite as hot as I want it set. Well, that heating element will actually should do the rest of it. Now, the final step will be to transfer from that tank to, say, a, quote, normal uh, water tank like a heating tank and that tank will then have water from the tank that I just had it in and then from there any adjustments that need to be made that will that will use my primary energy source which is solar so basically it's a three-step heating system but 
hopefully you shouldn't need you know any from your for your primary heating or your energy source unless you know something weird happened you know like it got really really cold for a long period of time but that's how we plan on doing our water out here and I just wanted to talk to you about that because um, you know I've had people ask questions about the house and stuff like that and as I go on with the house here you know things are, are going to evolve and you'll see all the systems that we have set up you know this has been years of planning and, and thinking about what we're gonna do but um, that's how thermal mass works folks if you if you um, you know didn't quite understand or grasp how the thermal mass works the water is a perfect example because it's on the top of the chart with thermal mass because you know it's really good at holding heat so um, yeah that's that but other than that everything's been going well um, out here too you know I've just been busy um, definitely gonna be editing a couple videos this coming week so I'll have a couple videos out uh, I just want to thank all the new subscribers and just let you know that I do appreciate you watching the videos and I appreciate you sharing the videos so I um, hope you all have a good weekend be safe talk to you soon